Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here inside Johnny United Stadium, joined by offensive line coach John Donatelli. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Ready to take it to the house? You ready to take it to the house? Let's go. Let's do it. So, first things first, Coach Kosmakos, uh -huh. one of your former players. Yep. What was he like as a player? What was he like as a player? Oh, we, know, boy. we know he was pretty he good. Was, he was pretty good. He was pretty. He was spirited, is what he was, and, and passionate. That's the best way I could describe Coach Gus. You talked a little bit yesterday about him being the original dancing bear. I could agree with that. Um, you know, one of the things I remember most about Gus is he would confuse everybody around him by giving his calls in Greek sometimes. Oh wow! Surprising, right? But uh, yeah, he was uh, he, he was he was a great rock pounder and, and, and did a lot of great things for us. And another great offensive lineman we had here that a lot of people know about having great success in the NFL is Jermon Bushrod. Yeah, Jermon, sure. We call him kind of the pinnacle around here. He's the uh, He's the ultimate Tiger offensive lineman. And with Coach Gus now, he coaches that defensive line, and he yep. said he took a little bit of, he takes a little bit of pleasure whenever his guys beat your guys one-on-one, -on -one. but I'm sure it goes the other way as well. No. No? No, I've been doing this long enough to know that it's not about winning the drill, but it's about training every day, so that's a youthful spirit and kind of mindset. So we're just going to keep training, and we're not going to play the drill. But you know, every once in a while, yeah, sure, I like to give Gus a little deal in the back and win. And Coach, we're always training. We've now reached the 50, so yep. do a little speed round, get to know you a little bit better. All right, let's go. Ready to roll? Yep. Favorite movie or TV show? Favorite movie or TV show would be, um, uh, favorite movie would have to be Full Metal Jacket. If you could travel anywhere, where would you travel? Bora Bora. Favorite food? Favorite food is uh, Bronzini. Pre-game ritual or superstition? Pre-game ritual or superstition? If you uh, have any. I don't really have any. Just have a uh, nice cup of coffee and go over the game plan and get ready to get the guys juiced up. Who's the funniest coach on staff? The funniest coach on staff has got to be Jared Ambrose. Favorite thing about Towson? Favorite thing about Towson is absolutely the people. Player coach another sport, what would it be? If I played or coached another sport, it would be boxing. Favorite coaching memory? Favorite coaching memory was uh, Winning our final two playoff games in 2013 um, in Eastern Washington and Eastern Illinois, and the, uh, the best memory I have is sharing both of those with my son Luca. And something most people might not know about you. Most people might not know about me. Well, I can hold my breath for almost four minutes and operate a hydraulic crane. That's that just might be the most that, unique one we've had. There you go. All right, 50 more yards. Let's do it. Yep. So you mentioned earlier the phrase. Uh, rock pounder and we, yep. we hear about pound the rock all the uh -huh. time what does pound the rock mean oh What's boy you know pound the rock is just a, a little analogy that we talk about all the time as the, those uh, those offensive linemen kind of doing the jobs and the tasks that nobody wants to do and we kind of give them a vision of hey there's a big giant boulder in the middle of this stream and we're trying to supply the entire town with water and nobody believes we can do it we're just going to keep pounding on that rock Day after day, we're going to keep working, keep training. Uh, little pieces at a time will chip off, and we ultimately know if we keep pounding it together, then that thing will shatter, and everybody will, will be plenished with thirst, you know, and, and uh, their thirst will be quenched, and we'll have taken care of it. And so looking at current rock pounders, who are yep. some guys that people should have their eyes on this year? Well, I think, you know, you have to start off with our senior, senior Antonio Harris, has been doing a great job with us for us for the past couple years. He's overcome some injuries. Um, and he's, he uh, recovered and had a great spring. Um, I think you want to think about Matt Kaufman, who's been our right tackle for the past few years and, and growing, uh, growing every day. Um, I think you, you want to think about Zane Ventimiglia, who's new to us from Butte College in California. We call him the juice man. He's done a great job of infusing enthusiasm. Uh, you know, to our unit, and, and uh, I think those three guys specifically you should keep an eye on for sure. And one thing that I'm interested to know is we have a running back now like Shane Simpson, yep. more of a speed guy than the lap previous two in Darius sure. Victor and Terrence West, who were a little more physical. How does the offensive line have to change when the running back style changes as well? We don't really change our style. Um, you know, we run the concepts we run. We're always based on, on physicality imposing our will, being, being a bully, so to speak. Um, and, and we just count on those guys behind us to make it right, whatever style of runner they are. So we're not going to change who we are. Coach, what's your outlook for this upcoming season? 
You know, the outlook for the upcoming season, we've, we've done a great job in spring laying a great foundation. The guys have done a great job with their uh, attitude, their work ethic, and their enthusiasm. I think we need to keep growing, you know, in our concept knowledge and our fundamentals. Um, and we keep working together and, and keep pounding that rock. I think I'm really excited because it seems like we've got some of the best team unity that we've had for years, um, and that's going to take us a long way. And Coach, speaking of going a long way, we have taken it to the house. We are yep. in the end zone, and what would a touchdown be without a touchdown celebration? Well, you know, we're kind of the silent warriors here, and we're not going to really put ourselves out there a whole lot. We're going to do it with class and character. So we're just going to act like we've been there before. We're going to hand the ball to the ref and walk away. All right. So another edition of To the House in the Books. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. For offensive line coach John Donatelli, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us. And for more information on your Towson football Tigers, head over to TowsonTigers.com. And as always, go Tigers.